This video will teach you step by step how to master the ollie on a fingerboard. When it comes to doing tricks on a fingerboard, a lot of people think that the ollie is the easiest trick out there, but that is not true. Even though the ollie looks very simple, it actually isn't the easiest trick. A trick like a kickflip is actually easier than an ollie, which is kind of surprising because on a skateboard, the ollie is the easiest trick. So if you are feeling like you cannot learn the ollie, maybe try working on a trick like a kickflip. But today I will teach you how to ollie. Something I will point out before getting into how to ollie is that ollieing on a tech deck is much harder than doing it on a fingerboard, but it is possible and most of us learned the ollie on a tech deck. The first step in doing the ollie is finger positioning. This is one of the most important parts of doing the ollie. So this is the positioning that I normally use for doing the ollie. Some people will say that it's better to have your fingers like overhanging the board this way. Others say that it's better to have your fingers kind of standing up and also having them just a little bit closer to the edge. But I generally like my fingers pretty much barely touching the edge and that works very well for me. So really work on having muscle memory here and also every time you go and attempt the ollie, make sure that your fingers are positioned like this because if they're say off or something, this is going to make this trick very frustrating to learn. So right when I go to place my fingers on the board, I generally like to have it like this. So step one is finger positioning and that is a very important step of doing the ollie. On to step two and that is how you pop the board. So this step is probably the step that most people do a little bit wrong. And that is when you go to pop the board into the ollie, they think it's like a real skateboard and you need to move this finger towards the nose to balance it out. Yes, this does work on a real skateboard, but this is a fingerboard, not a skateboard. So don't do that. So what you want to do instead is keep your fingers locked in this position. Don't move them apart, that's just going to mess up the whole thing. So just move them all together towards the nose. Also, if you are a beginner, this is the tail of the board and this is the nose of the board. So pop up, use your fingers, slide them both to straighten it out. And I know that this step is challenging, but that is the step you need to take to learn the ollie. And also, when you are a beginner, your ollies will be very fast, so you hardly even have time to do this. It'll look something like this. And something that accidentally happens a lot of the time is when you go to move both your fingers, this one will kind of stay and this one will kind of move like that. And there is nothing wrong with actually moving this finger like you would on a real skateboard. The only downside is that it's kind of hard to learn as a beginner and it is easier just to move both fingers. So something that helps is actually doing what I am doing right here, and that is just using your hand to hold the board and pretend that you are doing the ollie. So pop the board, slide both fingers, land. Now on to step three. So step three is the step that is basically tips on how to learn this faster and easier. When I first started doing ollies, I thought that I had to be moving at like a consistent speed, pop it without shuffling back and it had to be perfect, but that is not the case. Something that helps is doing your ollies fakie. Fakie is where the board is going backwards. And this makes it so when you pop the board, you're already kind of going backwards and it just makes it easier to get a clean ollie right off the start. Right off the start as in you will still need a lot of practice to get up to this step, but it'll be pretty quick once you get it. The reason why going fakie makes it easier is when you are going backwards, you pop the board, your hand kind of stops, your board wants to keep moving so it sticks to your fingers, and it's just easier to do a big ollie. So another thing in step three is something very similar to doing the fakie, but instead you're doing a shuffle back and then doing the ollie. People say that this is cheating in the ollie, but it kind of isn't because you're still doing an ollie on a fingerboard. 
The only difference is instead of moving like this or just doing the ollie like that, you do a shuffle backwards and then do the ollie. I will show you. You'll start kind of doing this and then just go back and pop the ollie over. This definitely makes it super easy for doing the ollie. And shuffling back is the easiest ollie variation. Because you are going backwards very fast, you pop the board and you kind of just want to flick your hand forwards very fast. And doing it this way, you actually don't even need to use too much technique. You can kind of just whip it back and basically just float it over like that. So I'm not even really going to pop or like go high. I'm just going to go back and pull it forwards. One more thing in step three, that is learning to ollie over something. This is the most frustrating thing with doing the ollie. You'll just be stuck doing this and you just won't be able to do it. And you'll just get something that looks like that. Everybody has been there. Don't worry, it's not just you. Do it, just do it. But your hand does not do it. And putting an obstacle in the way, you don't even need an obstacle. You can just put another tech deck deck on there like this, simple. Or if you don't even have that, just put a chunk of wood there. This will trick your brain into knowing that it has to do it or else it's just gonna hit the block like this. So this makes it very easy to make sure that you actually try the ollie. And from here on out, it's only going to get easier. It'll be frustrating at times, I know, I've been there. Most of us fingerboarders have been there, but just keep practicing. I made a video on how to ollie way back a few months ago, more like six months ago, and many people were saying that there was kind of some information that didn't make too much sense in that video, and it was an all right how-to video, but not as good as this one. But my point is, is a lot of people were saying that this tutorial didn't help at all. That's because you are not going to get the ollie in only one day of practice. The ollie will likely take you months to like get very good, but in the next week or so, you will probably see some pretty good results. And everything that I showed you in this video can also be applied to a tech deck. This is just a cheap fingerboard, basically, that you can buy pretty much anywhere. And doing a good ollie on a tech deck is definitely challenging compared to on a proper fingerboard, but it's not impossible. And I learned how to do ollies on a tech deck, so it's all right, you can still get pretty good at fingerboarding just using a tech deck, but it is easier on a fingerboard. So thank you for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful. I hope that you learned how to ollie after watching this video and comment down below if you need any more tips because I'm happy to answer whatever questions you may have.
So in three simple steps, you can learn how to ollie on a fingerboard. Thanks for watching this video. The subscribe button is down there. One video is up there. Another one is down there. Follow all my social medias. They are in the description down below. And I'll see you in my next video.